to the QVinci webinar concerning syncing via the Excel sync method. QVinci offers the ability for users who are not tied to QuickBooks, QuickBooks Online, Xero, or other compatible accounting solutions that offer direct sync to still contribute data via an Excel sync method. And so we're going to go through that process today. To log in to your QVinci account, you would simply visit QVinci.com and click the Login button. And the user would simply log into the account that their administrator has set up for them in the dashboard. For my particular account, I have a number of locations in my dashboard. And you'll see that two of them have red dots next to them. That simply means that I have not synced data for those two locations. For purposes today, I'm going to use the Cassville, Missouri and Fayetteville, Missouri locations to sync Excel data. So I'm simply going to click the call to action item that says link locations here. What that does is it prompts me to a page where I can select my syncing method, QuickBooks Online, Desktop, Zero, and Excel. So I simply want to enable the Excel syncing method. Once I have done that, QVinci will give me some Excel tabs along the top of my screen for this particular location. I have Export Excel and I have Sync Excel. So I'm going to Export Excel in order to generate a template to put my financials in to bring into the system. It allows me to generate a template and it will download for me immediately. What I have the ability to do is then simply paste my financials on a monthly frequency into my template. And you'll notice a number of tabs along the bottom, P&L 15 for Profit and Loss 2015, AR, AP, Sales by Customer for 2015, Expense by Vendor for 2015, and then we move to more historical years. I'm going to start with the Profit and Loss for 2015. And what it simply gives me is a blank template for me to paste financials into. Now, the financials can be brought in in a number of different formats, but there are some checks and balances in the system, such as uh, total, call, total lines must have matching headers. And so we're going to talk about that. Uh, first off, you'll notice that I need to uh, enable my macros, and so I'm simply going to enable that content. I need a macros-enabled workbook. And then if I have an accounting solution, perhaps Peachtree or another solution that does not have a direct connection to QVinci, what I would do is go into that accounting solution and run a profit and loss report and export it to Excel. And then I'm going to paste that data into this template. So there are two steps in the QVinci template, copy and paste, and then select my column. And so what I've done is actually went ahead and generated my template from my accounting software. And it can look like this, where I have income and all of my income accounts, and then my cost of goods sold down to expenses and ending with net income. I can also have it formatted in a different way. I can have it look like this, very similar to what QuickBooks gives you when you export from Excel. And so what I'm going to do is start with this particular version right here. And I'm simply going to select the first cell, and I'm going to copy all the way over my January through June or uh, through July or whatever date range I so desire. So I'm simply going to copy all the way over and straight down. I do not need to copy the total column. QVinci will calculate that for me. And I want to go all the way below my net income line. I will simply copy that and move to the QVinci generated template and paste it into cell A8, the first cell. Here is my template, and I have completed step one of copying and pasting the data. Now I would move to step two, where I'm going to select where my financial data begins on the spreadsheet so that I can set up my monthly columns. There are no date ranges here, you'll notice. So column H is where my first column with financial data begins. I simply click anywhere in column H, and I click the button, and here are my dates, my months that have been applied. All I'm simply going to do now is save this template. I need to save it as a macro-enabled workbook. And you can leave it with the name that QVinci generated it as. 
or you can rename the template. And I'll simply save that onto my desktop. Once I have pasted and saved the template, I pasted data in and saved the template, now I can go back to my Kivinci dashboard and I can sync the data in. So I've already generated my template, put the data in, saved it, now I'm going to sync via Excel. And I'm going to browse and find my file. I called it Location Financials. And I'll simply attach it and click the sync button. The sync process will take about 30 seconds time. And you will receive a confirmation at the end of that process. If your sync was successful, your screen will look like this. And that is your confirmation. You can click the Home tab in order to view the financials for your location. So if I select Cassville, Missouri, here are my reports for Cassville. Now, if I needed to sync another location, I would simply go back to my Link Locations Here tab, and I would go to the next location, Fayetteville, perhaps. And I need to enable my Excel syncing. Again, once that's enabled, I have the additional tabs at the top, Export Excel and Sync Excel. I simply migrate to the Export Excel button, and I generate my template. The templates are specific to each location, and that's a security check within the system. I cannot accidentally sync the spreadsheet for Cassville to Fayetteville or vice versa. It will throw an error and not allow that to come in. So I simply open a spreadsheet for every single location that I need to contribute via Excel. Here is my Fayetteville spreadsheet. Again, I need to enable my macros. And I'm going to go to another, say, PL 15 tab. And I'm going to take, instead of this particular layout of financials, I'm going to take this one this time. And I'm going to simply copy all the way over to the last column and all the way down so that I have my net income at the bottom. Copy and paste it into cell A8. So I've completed step one and now I need to select my first column where financial data exists. In this particular spreadsheet it's column C and I will set my date range at the top. Again, just simply save this spreadsheet as a macro-enabled workbook and place it anywhere on your desktop or computer and click Save. Migrating back to the QVinci dashboard, I'm on the Fayetteville location. I will select the Sync Excel button and I simply browse to and find the spreadsheet that contains my data. And I simply click the Sync button. And again, if I have no errors or failures, I will be presented with the following screen just confirming that my data was synced in without issue, this one right here. Now, there are checks and balances within the system, and we'll talk about those briefly. What you will notice is that in my particular financial spreadsheet, I have a number of parent and sub-accounts. In order for the data to sync and align correctly in QVinci, every parent account must have a corresponding total, and it has to be named the exact same. Additionally, if I were to not have the parent account represented like this, this would not sync in accurately, and I would receive an error message that says I am missing my corresponding header account. And so you want to make sure that every total line has a header and every header has a corresponding total. Please let us know if you have any questions at all when you are syncing via Excel. The contact DaVinci support rep can be found on the help tab and we have a user manual as well. But you can contact support at any time. We'll be glad to walk you through the process. This can be done via support at QVinci.com by sending an email or by contacting us via live chat. Thank you much. Have a good day.